In this session, we are going to discuss about design and implementation of Mod 6 asynchronous counter using T flip flop. Mod 6 asynchronous counter is also called divide by 6 counter. That is, it, it has 6 stable states. It counts from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 0, 1. After that, it initial it goes to zero 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 again. So it has three flip flops. That is, counting starts from zero 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 to uh, up to one zero one. So three digits are there. So we use three flip flops. So uh, in this uh, here, mode six counter, it has six stable set. That is six is less than or equal to eight. We are using here, since we have three bits here, two raised to three is eight. Eight possible combinations are there. Out of this, six states are valid and remaining two states are invalid. So in this 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1 are in are valid and 110 and triple one are invalid states. So after that, after the 101 state has arrived, it has to go to 000. It should not go to 110 or triple one. So what happens is after the seventh clock pulse is applied, the counter temporarily goes to 110 for a fraction of a second and resets to 000 with the help of a NAND glitch. The circuit is shown here. Three flip-flops are used. When the uh, flip-flop is used in as a counter, we have to give input as one to all the flip-flops. We, here we are using T flip-flop. Since it is a asynchronous counter, we are giving external clock pulse only to the first flip-flop. The output of first flip-flop is given to the clock of the second flip-flop. The output of second flip flop is given to the clock of the <coughs> third flip flop. By using NAND gate, this is a feedback loop, we are resetting all the flip flops. When the counter goes temporarily to 110, 110 means Q3 is 1, Q2 is 1, and Q1 is 0, that is 110. Then both ones come to the input of NAND gate, that is Q2 and Q3 will be one. That both ones will come to the input of NAND gate. So when both the inputs of NAND gate are one, the output will be, output of NAND gate will be zero. That zero will come to a clock input of all the flip flops. So the flip-flops are reset to zero, zero, zero. All the flip-flops reset to zero. That's the initial state again achieved. So the counting starts. It will continue in, a, in this loop. That is zero to five. That's all about mode six asynchronous counter using T flip-flop. Uh, by using JK flip flop also, we can use mode six asynchronous counter. Here, all, here we are using JK flip flop. Here, all the inputs are given one or positive VCC. We are giving clock pulse only to first flip flop. The output of first flip flop is given to the clock of second flip flop. Output of second flip flop is given clock to the third flip flop. So asynchronous counter is ready. How to reset means uh, this NAND gate we are using here. So this uh, second flip-flop output and third flip-flop output we are giving to the input of NAND gate. When the count is 110, Q2 is one, Q1 is one, Q0 is zero. So this one one condition, the uh, second flip-flop output and third flip-flop output uh, will uh, is given to input of NAND gate. When one one condition comes, the uh, NAND gate output will become zero. So the, that zero will apply to clock input of flip-flops and thus flip-flops are reset to zero. Again, the counting starts. Thank you.